how are you? Welcome back. I hope you're sharing these videos with others. I hope you're not keeping it to yourself. I hope you're telling everyone you know about these exciting lessons. Today, we are going to be looking at multiplying by two digit numbers, but we're using expanded form. We used expanded form when we were multiplying sing by single digit numbers. Today, we're going to look at it when multiplying by two digit numbers. All right. So the first thing you want to do is break apart your numbers. So here we have 24. 24 is two tens and four ones. And 12 is one ten and two ones. Now, two tens mean 20 and four ones mean four. And then one ten means 10 and two ones mean two. We have to multiply these two by these two. So it's going to be a little longer going across because we have to multiply 20 by 10, then four by 10, then 20 by two, and four by two, but we can do it. So let's go. So 20 times 10, put those in brackets, plus, 20 times 2 brackets plus 4 times 10 bracket and 4 times 2. Now we're going to multiply what is inside each bracket. 20 times 10, we have two zeros, so we write them down. And then we multiply 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 20 times 2, we have 1 0, we write it down, then 2 times 2, that's 4, plus 4 times 10, that's 1 0, then 4 times 1 is 4, plus 4 times 2, there's no 0, and we get 8. Now it's time to add them all up. Remember, I like to do this and add them two by two. So 200 plus 40 and then 40 plus eight. So zero plus zero is zero, four plus zero is four, and two plus nothing is two. Then eight times zero is eight, and four plus nothing is four. Then we add the two answers, 240 plus 48. Eight plus zero is eight, four plus four, that's eight, and two plus nothing is two. So 24 times 12 is 288. Moving on to number two. So here we have 32 times 24. We have to draw our place value chart. So three tens and two ones. So that's three tens, 30, two ones, two. This is two tens and four ones, two tens, 20, and four ones, four. Now we're going to write them based on how we're going to multiply. Remember the 30 will be multiplied by 20 and four, and the two will also be multiplied by 20 and four. So let's go. 30 times 20, bracket, plus 30 times four, bracket, then two times 20, bracket, then two times four. Ready to work them out. 30 times 20, that's two zeros, so we write them down. And then three times two, that's six. 30 times four, that's one zero, so we write it down. And three times four, that's 12. Plus 20 times two, that's one zero. And two times two, that's four. Plus two times four, no zero, so we get eight. Now it's time to add them all up. So 600 plus 120. 
you know we're going to add these two and then these two. 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 6 plus 1 is 7. Then 40 plus 8, 8 plus 0 is 8, and 4 plus nothing is 4. Now it's time to add both answers together. 720 plus 48, 8 plus 0, that's 8, 4 plus 2, that's 6, and 7 plus nothing is 7. So 32 times 24, that's 768. And you can also multiply three digits by two digits. We're going to try one of that. So notice I clear the entire space because we're going to need it now. So we have 328, that's 302 tens, eight ones. And we have 35, that's 3 tens and 5 ones. 300 is 300, zero, 2 tens, that's 20, and 8 ones, that's 8. 3 tens, that's 30, and 5 ones, that's 5. You can separate them with the lines, or you can put plus sign, depends on what you want. All right. Now, we are going to write them out based on how we're going to multiply. All three numbers will be multiplied by these two. So we're starting with 300 and we're multiplying by those two. So 300 times 30 bracket plus 300 again times 5. We're done with 300. So now we're going to 20. So we have 20 times 30 bracket plus 20 times 5. Now we're done with 20, so now we're going to 8 plus 8 times 30 plus 8 times 5. Now we're going to work out each bracket. So 300 times 30 three zeros one two three then three times three that's nine plus three hundred times five that's two zeros then three times five that's fifteen then twenty times thirty that's two zeros then two times three is six then 20 times 5, that's 1, 0. Then 2 times 5 is 10. Then 8 times 30, that's 1, 0. And 8 times 3, that's 24. Then 8 times 5 is 40. Remember, guys, use your fingers or use the board to skip count. It's easy. It's long, but it's easy. Now, we're going to add all these partial products. Let's go. 9,000 plus 1,500. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. And 9 plus 1 is 10. Then 600 plus 100. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 1 is 7. Then 240 plus 40. 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 2 plus nothing 2. Now we have three numbers that we need to add together. If you are not comfortable adding three numbers, add the first two. Then when you get your answer, you add it with 280. All right, so 10,500 plus 700 plus 280. Zero plus zero, that's zero. Eight plus zeros, that's eight. Seven plus two, that's nine. And nine plus five, that's 14. I'm writing the 4 and I'm carrying the 1. 
zero plus one is one and one plus nothing is still one so 328 times 35 is 11,480. So multiplication is not hard, guys. You just have to find the strategy that works for you. This one might be long, but it's pretty easy if you can remember all the steps. Now that's the end of multiplication. When I see you next time in math class, it's going to be division. All right, remember, like this video, share it with everyone you know, leave me a comment. I love to see your comments. It tells me what you're thinking or whether I'm doing a good job or not, or if you understand. So leave me a comment. They're never too much. I read every single one of them and guess what? I respond. So... If you have not subscribed also, remember, hit that subscription button. See you in our next lesson. Bye. <laughs>